This video will introduce you to some of the geometry features in SimExpert related to generating mid-surfaces of geometric solids. The case study that we're going to perform is to create mid-surfaces of the solid model that you see here. Uh, you can see that it has non-symmetric cutouts and some internal holes. So we would like to generate a surface model, the mid-surfaces of this model, retaining all those features. The basic steps that we're going to follow are going to be to isolate a cross section of that solid. We will then offset the uh, curves to describe the center line of that cross section. And we will then take those curves that we have created and sweep them along the solid to create the mid-surfaces, retaining the shape and all the cutouts and holes that we found in the original model. We have now opened SimExpert in the Structures workspace and we will start to create our model. Our first step is going to be to establish a system of units that's going to be used for any uh, dimensions, loads and boundary conditions, or materials for our model. So we go to the Options Editor, which is found under Tools, Options. Uh, this opens SimExpert's uh, Settings Control Panel, and we would select the Units Manager to control our system of units. We are going to select from the standard library of units, and we will select millimeters, kilograms, and seconds to be our units, and click OK. And we have now set the basic system of units that will be used in SimExpert. Next, we will import our solid model, which is a parasolid model, and bring that into SimExpert. And here you can see the solid model. And this is the one we are going to extract the mid-surfaces from. So our first step was to create a cross section of the solid. And to do that, we are going to first create a part. A part is simply a collection of entities. And we are going to isolate each one of the separate sections uh, of the geometry into separate parts. Uh, this is to ease graphics clutter and also to facilitate picking. So under the Assemble tab, uh, we'll create a part for the cross section that we are about to create. And once a part is created, it's listed in your model browser. The current part is uh, designated by the bold underlined font, and that means any new geometry that we create is going to go into the current part. So our cross section, the surface that we create, will go into this part called cross section. So we'll start to isolate the cross section now, and that is under the geometry pick. And we are going to edit this solid. And extract a cross section. I'll first orient the model so that we can see the base of it. So I will orient it to the bottom view. And I'll rotate it very slightly by hitting Shift right mouse button. And then click Fill so that the model fills the entire screen. To extract the cross-section, we select the solid from which we would like to extract the cross-section. We now extract a surface that will cut a slice through the model to give us the cross-section. In our case, we're going to be extracting a face from our solid, but it doesn't have to be an actual face of the solid. It can be any surface uh, that defines a plane where you would like to cut through your solid. So we will extract this face of the solid and click OK. And I will now switch to a geometry wireframe view because we're going to be creating curves in our next step and that will make them easier to see. So I will switch to wireframe view. We don't need our solid model uh, for the next step, the next step of offsetting the curves. So I will go ahead and hide the solid for our next step. We are once again going to start by creating a part to facilitate picking later on. We could go back to the Assemble tab where we started and create a part from there, but we also can have a shortcut to creating a part by simply right-clicking on Part in the Model Browser and selecting Create Part. This part that we're going to create here is going to be our offset curves. And notice in the model browser, this now becomes our current part. So the cu curves that we create are going to become a member of that part. So to create the curves, we will come back to the curve commands and select to create curves. 
And the method we're going to use to create those curves is going to be the offset method. Now to look at selecting those curves, we could manually select them if we wanted to. But since we want to select all the exterior curves, we're going to uh, look at a feature that's in SimExpert that allows us to pick uh, multiple curves at one time. To do that, we're going to go to the advanced pick dialog that you see here. And we're going to select contiguous auto. And what that will do is it will select all the curves that are joined head to tail. We pick one curve and it finds all the ones that are joined to it head to tail, all the ones that are contiguous, and selects them all. So we can select them all with that one command and click. Since I'm going to extract more curves, I'm going to click apply so that the form will stay open. So you can now see that those sets of mid surface, mid curves have been created. And we will now complete the remainder of the curves uh, for the interior of the, of the surface. So we'll clear the data box and select the curves that remain to be offset. So these ones that are interior to our model. And now we're done clicking the curves, so we'll click, click OK. Now that we no longer need the cross section displayed, we will go ahead and hide that too. So we'll right click on that and select to hide. And you can see that the curves, the offset curves we have created, uh, don't extend to meet their neighbors. They don't meet up in the interior. So we will extend those curves out so that we have a continuous set of curves here. So uh, we will edit the curves and extend them up to their neighboring curves. So we'll go ahead and select the curve to extend, select the point up to which, the curve up to which we want to extend it, and click Apply. And we will repeat this for each one of these internal curves until we have created a continuous set. And one final extension. And since this is our last one, I will now click OK to close the form. So we now have a continuous set of curves that describes the interior of the cross section that we isolated. And our final step is to sweep these curves along the solid to create the mid surfaces. So we'll create a part for our mid surfaces. And we will now show the solid, because we'll be using that in our next command. So we'll right click on the part that contains the solid and select Show. And we are now going to extrude the curves along the solid. So under the Create Curve, the command that we're going to use is Extrude and Clip to Solid. The curves that we are going to sweep are the ones that we created. And remember that we put them in a part. So one of the easiest ways to select them is to select them from the part that we made. So we'll go to the Advanced Pick dialog and select that the curves that we want to pick are from part. And the part that they are members of is Offset Curves. And now you can see that it's selected all the curves that are members of that part. We are going to clip to our original solid. And the sweep curve, we're just going to pick any uh, edge that uh, lies along the axis of the solid to sweep along. So we'll click OK. And we have now created our mid surfaces. I'll right click on the part name in the model browser and select to show only the mid surfaces. And so that you can see them Shaded, I will turn on Geometry Shaded with Edges. And you can see now that we have mid-surfaces of the original model. 
with all of the features retained, all the uh, continu continuity in the holes are all uh, there. We have achieved our goal of creating the mid-surfaces of the solid and retaining all the features, so this concludes this video.